Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be talking about copying lists. And specifically, I want to get into deep copying lists. So when we talked about copying earlier, we were talking about shallow copying. I'm gonna show you what the difference is. So first let's talk about how we learned to copy lists before. You would say my favorite things dot copy. And this is going to return a new list. So we can assign it to something such as copy. So now my favorite things and copy have the same elements, but they are two separate lists and we can print them both like so. And when we run this, you can see we get the first one and then the second one, same exact data. Now, if we go in here and change something, so let's say copy index zero is now assigned the value walking. Well, this is only going to show up in the copy because it's a copy and they're not pointing to the same thing. So if I print the data again, running it now, you can see walking shows up in copy, but not in the original. But what if I change something within a list inside of the main list? So in this situation, we're going to grab index two and index, we'll just go index zero. So we're gonna change Amazon Prime and we're gonna change it to Hulu. So running this now, the change is apparent here but the change is also apparent in the original. What in the world is going on? If it's a copy, why is this change to the copy affecting the original? And that's where shallow copies have their issue. Shallow copies make a copy of all of the immutable data, but any of the mutable data that we can create an alias for, such as lists, those are not copied value by value, but rather there's just an alias to that same list. So because this is a list inside of the outer list, the copy is going to point to the same area of memory and changes will be seen in both. So let me word this one other way. Copy of two is going to point to the same area of memory as my favorite things two. So this is just an alias for the original. And if you want to see that, what we can do is we can actually use the ID function and confirm that they are in fact the same value. So passing these into ID and then we'll pass them into print, which by the way, if you highlight over something and you use the left parentheses inside of Visual Studio Code, it'll surround it and then you can just say print. So that might save us some effort like so, print. All right, running this, and you can see we get the same exact value. So with a deep copy, these values would be different and they would be two completely separate lists. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you now. What you need to do is we need to import copy. So up at the top, we're gonna to say import copy. And then within this module, we can say, instead of copy here, we're going to replace this line with copy dot deep copy and this is going to take the thing we want to copy. So we're going to copy my favorite things. And this is going to return a new data, which we can assign to a variable. I was using the variable named copy, which is what we just imported. So I don't want to use that. So we'll just call it C. And then you'll want to change C anywhere we used it. So C, C, and C. Running it now, you can see that these numbers are in fact different. So that is how you do a deep copy in Python. If for some reason you had more nesting, you had lists of lists of lists, this method would still work. You would just have to call deep copy once and everything is going to be copied value by value into a new object. So it's safer if you need to make sure you have a complete copy. But do keep in mind, if you're working with some pretty big data structures, this might hurt your memory. And right now we're not even have to worry about that, but in the future, you're essentially making two of one thing. So you're going to double the memory consumption. So just keep that in mind and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.